And we are live at 3rd and Lindsley for more of our Nashville Sunday night this evening. 3rd and Lindsley, y'all still with us out there? Still good? Yeah. All right, well, don't waste it all on me. Let's go ahead and say thanks to Sound Royalties, to Wicked Weed Brewing Company, and our friends at New Amsterdam Vodka. Bring a little bit of that back as we welcome our second performer of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Darren Bradbury. Come here, said Coca Cola, Judas Priest, and Captain Crunch. Then the strange bird tipped his strange hat. So I showed him to the door, I wished him luck. Tell me, where are you going? Said Algiers to find Dwight Yoakum and crack cocaine. Do you like crack cocaine? <laughs> or do you like Dwight Yoakam? Crack! <laughs> Heck yeah! And the strange bird tipped some kind of hat and smoked crack singing in the rain. Do, 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 do. seen my old Kentucky home could have swore it was here just a moment ago well you'd know it by the flag and surrounding amber waves of grain and it was built on a foundation of many great heroes slain you ought to know it it's been in every John Wayne movie There's only two men in this world that I know can flock, and that'd be uh, Garth Brooks and Jesus Christ. Well, the second one ain't proven, but I know it in my heart. Otherwise, you wouldn't see pictures of him, always spreading his arms. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> La -da -da. Nailed it. <laughs> La -da -da. I refuse to believe in a God who can't take a joke. <laughs> yeah, has anybody seen my old Kentucky home? Well, I'm scared it's in the dark somewhere, crying alone. Well, I went down to the Walmart, but uh, wasn't there. Ain't never been gone this long. I'm getting kind of scared. Here we are on Lightning 100. Are y'all happy to be here? Hey, Teresa, what's going on? I see you back there, girl. Uh, let's hear it from Molly Martin, right? Isn't she just about the best? 
My name is Darren Bradbury, and I lost a bet backstage, so I had to wear sunglasses. I'm kind of cool with it. I think it's going to be a keep and keeper decision right here. It's like a... I keep, keep my mouth shut. Uh, so I released an album this year called Talking Dogs and Atom Bombs. And uh, all right. I guess if you all showed up here at 9 o'clock on the Oscars, you probably heard of me before. So maybe I'll be playing some favorites. This song is called Talking Dogs and Atom Bombs. If my dog could talk, he would probably say, Get off your ass, you spent too much time on the couch today. And if the cat could speak, you know she wouldn't say a word. But it's what's left unsaid that always seems to hurt. What if the weatherman said it's gonna rain till it stops? It may rain a little. Hell, it may rain a lot. So you ought to do whatever you're gonna do. If it's meant to be, all your silly dreams will come true. The microwave and the atom bomb are distant cousins, and my popcorn's gone on New Year's Eve. Sing old anxiety, and we'll drop the ball like we do every time. What if the weatherman said it's gonna rain till it stops? It may rain a little, you know, it may rain a lot. So you ought to do whatever you're gonna do. And if it's meant to be, all your silly dreams will come true. When the going gets tough, they say the tough it gets going. But the saying never indicates which direction they're going. Thank you. Let's see where this is going on. So I invented this today. Did you guys see this? Me and Brian Milligram, we went to every music shop in Nashville to uh, create this specially modified microphone so I would play with no wires. Yeah, no wires, it's bad for the environment. So I wrote this song so no one would ever have the audacity to ask me to play their wedding. It's called The Wedding Song, because sometimes you gotta be really direct with people. Though I guess it can be kind of misleading, because they're like, well, it's a wedding song and I'm in the market for a wedding song. Love is a lie that you tell yourself to soften the blow that you're dying alone. Dig too deep, you know, you'll probably hit stone. But I love your green eyes and the way that you smile when you hold my hand. It all seems worthwhile, regardless of this feeling. We're both dying alone. You see the birds and the bees fighting the trees, fall dead and ride on the ground to 
Despite all this, I'm so glad you're around. See the meaning of life, it's often misconstrued. It's to not think too much, maybe reproduce. In three months out of the year, the weather is fair. So if the average lifespan is 72, that's 108 months with the flowers in bloom. And that ought to be enough to stick around. Watch the birds and the bees fight in the tree, fall dead and ride on the ground. Despite all this, I'm so glad. Yeah, despite all this, I'm so glad you're around. Thank you. You guys want to hear a new song? Yeah. Now I'm going to test this. Uh, I put my friend, you guys know Rayvon Pettis? Yeah. I put Rayvon Pettis on the list tonight. And he didn't show up. Promised me he was listening to it on the radio. So, don't tell him. I'm going to see if he texts me about it. Call his bluff. <laughs> this song features, uh, it's called Double X Y Top Left. A song for Rayvon Pettis. <laughs> There's no such thing as a flying car. Hold on, gotta do that, that guy. I know I'm just as bummed as I presume you are. It was a bright idea that didn't make much sense imagine the implications of a flying car wreck officer it came out of nowhere and the sun was in my eyes every day on the news some idiot falls right out the sky I believe in aliens, just ain't sure where they are. Saw one as a kid, dead behind my garage. Hairless and gray, in a pile of leaves. Eyes black as midnight, smaller than I thought it would be. My father said it was a possum. But I knew that he was wrong <laughs> And whoever got to him Would surely be coming for me Before long Now when you guys hear me say Rayvon Will you cheer real loud? Yeah. Okay, cool, because it'll, you know If he's not paying attention, maybe it'll <laughs> I've been walking around for 30 odd years and I've still got no clue as to why we're here but I think Rayvon's right it's just a video game and you've got to accept maybe you're being played up, button, down, double X, Y, top left, I guess.
see if this guy's still in tune. I was born in a busted world Threw my lover off the tilt of world I got snakeskin boots and a tinfoil hat An 83 Marquis, a record contract I got on the line So we are strangers here In stranger times Said my son you want to know the truth the whole thing is a joke and the joke's on you. The whole thing is a joke and the joke's on you. I got blood on my shirt, pissing my jeans. <laughs> Taking someone's mom out for ice cream. Cold as the water, smooth as a stone. Sometimes you sink to the bottom just to be alone I got God on the line so we are strangers here in stranger times said my son you want to know the truth the whole thing is a joke and the joke's on you the whole thing is a joke and the joke's on you yeah I was born in a busted world Thank you. Well, the room had gone quiet, all the cocaine was gone. Just a few worn out extras hanging out on the lawn. One reached in his pocket, swore he had change. There's a few new faces, but hell's more or less the same. Passed out on the carpet. Flea bitten and stoned. We all came here together just to sleep here alone. Johnny awoke at the sound of the train that creeps past the window and hell's more or less the same. See this frightened dog. He ran up the stairs Just to bark at someone That he knew wasn't there You know the cat ate the trash But the dog took the blame Yeah, they're both dead now And hell's more or less the same So the cops, they came in they wouldn't say for what So we all just assumed What the other had done Then the picture cried out Yeah, I swear I've been framed They left the nail in the wall But hell's more or less the same Well, I'd leave if I could, but the back door is locked. And I wouldn't know what to do, even if it's not. I'll call you sometime when the dude finds the change. We're under new ownership, yeah, but hell's more or less, hell's more or less the same.
So I only figured it out up until that part of the show. So if y'all have any suggestions uh, after that, feel free. Uh, not limited to uh, anything, you know, I'm, I'm not going to play any covers. So don't be that jerk. All right. We'll get, what? Well, that always comes at the end. I mean, that's the overall, that's the last sentence of this thesis. <laughs> we'll do this one. Um, and we'll, we'll, you know, let's, let's expand that a little bit. You get a free record if you find the most, you can, you can do that in the middle of a song as long as it's one of my songs. And the person who finds the most unique spot to put out a re request mid-song will get a free record. And I believe that we'll know who that person is by consensus. Well, I'll just be like, that was the dude. <laughs> Let's make things exciting tonight. But pick wisely. Sit at the kitchen and stare out the window at two squirrels running through the yard. I presume them both lovers chasing after each other, though chances are they are not. Then the one squirrel turns its head and looks me dead in the eye as a hawk swoops down lifts the other off the ground and we both wave Juliet goodbye the other day I was uh, they posted a video of this of me performing at Americana Fest and um, like every other artist in Nashville I checked the comment section it's a cover you don't win <laughs> And I looked down at the comments, and somebody, I think it was like, Drew Boy 72 was like, yeah, that's right, Juliet. And I had to be like, yo, bro, that's not the takeaway. <laughs> On the kitchen table, there's a pile of junk mail. I pretend they're postcards from exotic lands. This one's from Howie, and he sent it from Maui, so we should take the time to refinance. <laughs> then the skim milk pours down all over Cereal Town, for I am the god of Cereal Town. <laughs> and the clusters unclust, and the bunches come bust. And all of God's oat children drowned. <laughs> Drew Boy 6767, that was the takeaway. <laughs> you see, it is what it is, since it was what it was. Stains on the grain made by coffee cups. Kind of looks like Saturn or a Death Star with the knot in the wood. And such. Well, the telephone rings, though it doesn't really ring. These days it's just a figure of speech. It beeps and it flashes and it sonically harasses all the thoughts that I'd really like to keep. But you call just to say that you hope I'm okay. And quite frankly, I don't know what you mean. We'll do another one from the album. In the press release for this album, they asked me about this song because it was one of the singles. And uh, this song is the song I wrote so that when my mom listens to my album, she has a go-to track to show her friends that her son is not a freak. <laughs> Closer. 
We're getting closer. If you close your eyes, you can travel through time. Just pick anywhere that you like in your mind. Running through the woods with a childhood dog. A hand that you held, a hand that you lost. So I close my eyes and I walk with you. But the trouble with time is you can take a wrong step. End up somewhere you tried to forget. A broken bone or a heart that's bruised. Sometimes I walk through the bed just to walk with you. So I close my eyes and I walk too far. Turn around, wonder where you are. Mm -hmm. So I woke up this morning and I got out of bed Tripped on my pants and fell on my head Found myself in 1992 Guess if I just keep walking one day I'll find You Now, Javier, I'm going to oblige your request, and you have a selection of guitars in which you can hear it on. You have the 12 string, the nylon, or the 6 string. Ooh, I want to hear this on a 12 string. I've never yeah. had that I, I cannot promise you it has stayed in tune since sound check. <laughs> but let's go for it. Are we committed even if it's not in tune? All right. <laughs> Counting roaches in a chicken shack Down at Myrtle Beach, the sun of my back Got caught stealing hubcaps off a of Pontiac Yeah, and here I am Skipping stones and watching birds Headed from Albuquerque And I made a wrong turn So I picked up some cardboard I wrote down some words, someone said it was a sign You were you and me, you were off scot free Like Bruce on a bike with some boardwalk queen They say two lanes will take you anywhere Well I guess they'll take you on down Down past Myrtle Beach I saw Richard Pryor throw a stone into the ocean He had a couple new jokes, yeah, none of them were worth quoting A couple good quips, yeah, and I guess that's it Nothing really on fire I seen Elvis Presley down at the popsicle stand Getting cues from Andy Kaufman on how to shake his ass They're doing a double bill, co-header, three night stand at Lightning 103rd and Lindsley, yeah? <laughs> oh, well, you and me, yeah, we're all scot free. At the heads that roll off the French royalty, the revolution was nothing more than a strong narrative with great publicity. Keeps the tourists down in Myrtle Beach. Well, I guess I'll keep quiet like old Charlie Chaplin. I didn't like the steak much, so I spit it in the napkin. It was too well done for anything to happen. Guess I wanted something rare. But the ball game's starting, so everybody cheers. 
You know it's a good song if it sells some beer. You held me in the nosebleed saying, why are we here? And I said, why do you care? Yo, you and me, yeah, we're off scot-free. Like Eva and Adolf in a submarine. Some folks say they're in Buenos Aires. I seen them both chomping on hot dogs. And they were strolling down Myrtle Beach. You and me, yeah, we're off scot free by Bruce on a bike with some boardwalk queen. They say two lanes will take you anywhere. Well, I guess they'll take you on down, down past Myrtle Beach. All right. What other one can we do that we've got this guitar? Oh, we'll do this one. I've never done this one. Then. So I wrote this song the first time I ever toured the upper Midwestern portion of the country. Any of you from there? Where are you from? Iowa. Uh, <laughs> you're having a tough week, bud. <laughs> Anyway, they got a lot of lakes up there, and uh, they, they fancy them so much they call them Great Lakes. And the first time I went up there, I said to myself, well, you know, not every lake can be a Great Lake. Some lakes just doing the best they can, but not quite making the cut. This song is for them. Well, we were just bodies of water They called us the almost Great Lakes Our aunts and our uncles were glaciers We had a childhood full of earthquakes Now that it ain't me, it's just my parents' fault And erosion, you know, well, it's too tough to stop But we were great were the almost Great Lakes. It's a tall tale, a tall tale, a tall tale, in short. It's a tall tale, a tall tale, a tall tale, in short. Well, you know Hollywood, it came cold. Oh, that's my verse. <laughs> Well, the locals, they all told their stories Of a creature that swam in our depths Though we never looked too hard for the truth We was all satisfied with the myth Was it shadows in the water Or some ungodly fish That sank old man Roy's sturdy ship to its grave the almost great lakes. It's a top tail, a top tail, a top tail. In short, it's a top tail, a top tail, a top tail. In short, well, you know, Hollywood it came calling with its black limousines and Gucci ties. Saying there's money to be made in this monster Yeah, there's diamonds all along your shorelines But the fish just looked fake And the script was bad Three directors, they quit The leading lady went mad The whole picture stank Just like the almost Great Lakes It's a top tail, a top tail, a top tail Short Top tail, top tail, top tail, in short. Well, we were just bodies of water. They called us the almost great lakes. I don't know if we still got this thing in tune enough. 
What about Bob? All right, we can do that. That can be done. Your timing was too good, though. <laughs> you did not win the prize. I think we're up to. We just did the. Oh, that. The bathroom win. All right. Let's do that. I'll do Bob, and then can I, I'm gonna do some new songs. Is that all right? Yeah. It, but the request thing still remains. Now, I haven't played this song in a while, so I might mess up the lyrics. This is a story about I never knew his last name. I want to say he was born somewhere outside of Topeka, and when he was a kid, for some reason or another, his parents moved away. I heard him say his mother was a school teacher, but for the life of me, I can't remember which grade. And that his father managed a motel or an Applebee's or something like that out on the interstate. I wouldn't say that Bob was short. I wouldn't say that Bob was tall. I wouldn't call Bob quiet. He wasn't very loud at all. Now he was just Bob. Backwards and forwards. He was just Bob. Around the office, we all thought Bob was a pretty swell dude. He was our go-to for a consistent and accurate weather update. Every time a storm was coming through, someone would say we ought to go ask Bob. Bob knows what's up. He had a one-bedroom apartment with carpet. In a pretty decent part of town. Said he had a couple upstairs neighbors who partied too much, but all in all, at the end of the day, they were a pretty decent crowd. Nothing like you folks. I wouldn't say that Bob was short. I wouldn't say that Bob was tall. I wouldn't call Bob quiet. He wasn't very loud at all. Now he was just Bob. Backwards and forwards. He was just Bob. Around the office. Oh, wait, that was the last verse. <laughs> well, I'm glad we could all take the time to gather here today. Debbie. Thanks for bringing the donuts. Well, it's a shame you know about the carbon monoxide leak, but I bet you good old Bob, that dude didn't even notice. So this jelly donut's for you, Bob. Yo, B.O.B. And every time I'm checking the weather, I feel like you're kind of awkwardly standing over me. Seriously, Bob, we all miss you here at Staples Corporate. Woo! Just ain't the same without you. I wouldn't say that Bob was short. I wouldn't say that Bob was tall. I wouldn't call Bob quiet. He wasn't very loud at all. Now he was just Bob. Backwards and forwards. He was just Bob. Thank you.
hey, man, that's what's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't get a record for it. What was it? Somebody else had some? What? Newark. Okay, that can happen too. All right, let's see if this thing's in tune. So I recently uh, left America for the first time. And uh, I don't like getting on planes. Uh, my manager, Lindsay, back there, I'm so scared of them that she had to fly over there with me. And she had booked us this really, really nice, like, Norwegian air. I don't know if it was first class, but to me it felt like first class. There was a lot of leg room. But I'm so bad on planes that for six and a half hours over to the UK, I, I, well, first of all, I have this, like, Eskimo coat. And I wore the Eskimo coat the entire time with my beanie pulled over my eyes. And on the seat like this, just like, for six hours unrelentlessly, I just, it, flying doesn't make sense to me. I don't think people should do it. I don't think naturally we do it. I think that if we were meant to be in the air, when I jump, I should be able to do something that resembles flying. Because when I get on a boat, I can swim. When I get in a car, I can get out and walk. There's nothing I can do on a plane. I just have to trust that this pilot likes his life enough to get me over to the other side of the ocean. That was, that was close, that was close. <laughs> but this song, so I went over there to the UK and I went to Norway and I had a good time, but I mean, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't have good times. So I had the best time that I know how to have. <laughs> but I wrote this song. And I gotta be honest, I kind of wrote it in spite of the team that put me out there. I was like, I'm gonna write a song so terrible. <laughs> that they'll fire me. <laughs> At the hotel last night, I was watching a program about the Sasquatch. That night I dreamed of being somewhere, anywhere else. In the morning they ran some tests, they must have run out of answers. These days you know everybody's got some new drug they're trying to sell. As a child you know I never dreamed of going to Ohio. And I'm still so glad that I ain't there now. Well I fell asleep in Duluth and I woke up with a fever in Belfast. Same hotel chain. But this time the room was upside down. Singing do 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 do. You are so close. That was perfect. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you also picked the hardest song for me to remember. At least, yeah, yeah. Well, the concierge couldn't wrap his head around the idea of the Sasquatch. And I don't know why I keep carrying around this empty bottle of pills. Yesterday I gave a TED talk at a convention center in Oslo. Today I rode a donkey up a hill. As a child, you know I never dreamed of Christmas in Cleveland. But from what I hear, there's no Cleveland to go back to now. I awoke in what looked like an Abu Pond in Heathrow Airport, trying to make it through customs when the Patterson PD hunted me down. Singing do 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 Make it your ringer. Officer PD handcuffed me to the bench and asked me if I was the Sasquatch. Said if I was the Sasquatch, why would I be wearing this Westerfield coat? Silence hung around the room, but no one noticed, because it was silent. <laughs> Officer Petey blinked twice and said, I don't know. As a child, you know, the psychic told me to go on to Cincinnati. I would meet the mayor, and he'd bestow upon me the city's golden cow. Well, I guess I should have listened, but I didn't. <laughs> if I live anywhere, I live in Ludlow now. Singing do 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 Well, they're shipping me off to the Netherlands for further tests and interrogations. There's some scientist who's an expert who lives out there now. I 
course, forget this lyric. Officer Petey and I shook hands as I walked handcuffed to the tarmac. London looks so beautiful when the sun's going down. And I don't know why I keep thinking about Ohio. I've been to Columbus once, but I was only passing through. Well, I'll write you when the plane touches down in Holland. Tell me what else is a poor Sasquatch to do? Tell me what else is a poor Sasquatch to do? Do 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 everybody. Anyone know what time it is? Oh wow, cool. We still got we're good. We're good. I'm thinking. All right, this is a new song. So part of that tour went to Norway, and um, I went all over Norway, and it was like small house concerts, but they were all like sold out, like 25, 30 people, you know, that, which is, you know, having never leave the country before, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, so uh, we did all over, Oslo, Bergen, and then um, I, uh, I did a bunch of remote villages towards the North Pole that it required me taking four or five hour boat rides through the fjords to like a remote fishing village where I was obviously the only American for hundreds upon hundreds of miles. And I'm like stepping off this boat and, um, and, uh, and I'm in this small little fishing village. And then I see my face on a poster on every street. <laughs> the whole thing was really bizarre. Because everybody knew that you were the guy on the posters. You were walking around trying to get a cup of coffee. But the boat ride up there kind of made up for the plane rides. Because I like boat rides. And I, 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 I'm not afraid of dying as much on a boat. I just think that there's... I'm okay with that. I don't know why. But um, anyhow, the water up in that part of the world, um, it's this deep jasmine green. And uh, it really struck me. And it, what was cool about it is that it was, it was dark jasmine green, but it was also crystal clear. So you could see right to the bottom of, of you know, 20, 30 feet of water. It was really surreal. And I wrote this song. Uh, that was the best show of the gig because the place I was staying was literally five steps away from the place I was playing in this guy Arnie's basement. And I wrote this song in Arnie's basement. It's called 15 Shovels. The old man at the lighthouse is screaming Bloody Mary, but no one will give the poor bastard a drink. I guess around here tomatoes must be out of season. So my reflection in the kitchen sink. It's a long way down through the cold jasmine water think I see something shining at the bottom the bottom of what I guess it don't really matter cause nothing around here really matters anyhow outside my window the wind is a howling I never thought about how those words relate I wish it was a dog howling at the moon I would share my sandwich and we could escape Is this a hotel? Is it a hospice? I'm waiting for the light from the lighthouse Thought I saw a woman but I guess it was a shadow Shadow of what doesn't matter anyhow Winner Let's give a round of applause. Cause it ain't no thing at the end of the world. You're at the top, my man, no deals to be made. Everyone around here just keeps their eyes to the ground. You catch a patch of sun like a drop of rain. Take the boat to the middle, the plane to the side. Take the car around back, hold her hand as you drive. 
Circle that bike round the same old spot It'll drive you mad Cause you're already at the top This morning they buried the old man at the lighthouse at the service I got a good look at his face Deep lines with the wind Cut his cheeks Dark jasmine eyes Skin cold and gray They dug a hole But they couldn't reach the bottom Fifteen men with fifteen shovels The ground was cold But that didn't stop them. Fifteen men with fifteen shovels Fifteen men with fifteen shovels Trying to get back to the bottom of the top Hey Carrie, are you back there? Can we present the record to our winner? Oh, she's not there. <laughs> Carrie! Oh, okay, so I can't see you. I'm wearing obnoxious sunglasses. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. And it's you right there, right? There we go. Round of applause, everybody. You are the rightful winner of the Awkward Request Contest. Now everybody shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. Our love is like the meth lab in your mother's basement. Crudely born from jugs, far too willing to explode. We weren't trying to get high. We were just trying to clean the kitchen. Struck the right combination. Yeah, now nah, there you go. Cause true love is gonna make you lose some teeth. And true love, you're 62, yeah, 23. And true love will always start off burning kind of sweet Cause baby I need you like I need a needle in my arm We've been calling it a good time but it's the farthest thing from fun Well I followed all the track marks of the veins and through the blood Now I'm sitting here just wishing that I'd never touch that stuff cause true love it's gonna make you lose some teeth, true love. You're 62, yeah, 23, true love. Will always start off burning, kinda sweet. Now, this here would be the sentimental part of the song. It's the uh, verse that my mother loves the best says, uh, why can't all the other verses be like this verse? <laughs> kind of like my brother Sean, who went to Harvard. <laughs> Screw Sean. <laughs> Furthermore, screw Harvard. How I wish I could get back to when love was just a toke of something green like your eyes and honey gold like your hair. And we could always laugh even when there was no joke. We'd lie lazy around like cats. We're not going anywhere. Cause true love is going to make you lose some teeth. And true love it's going to knock you off your feet. True love will always start off burning kind of sweet. So I was born in the great state of New Jersey. You cheer for that in my concert. Oh, we're at the one mark? Okay, we're at the one mark. 
So I got to do the one request that Teresa made. You got it. I've known Teresa for too long to not acknowledge that request. The song is called Life is Hard, the ballad of Jack Kerouac, Lenny Bruce, and Daffy Duck. Thank you for coming to the Darren Bradbury concert. <laughs> Can we hear it for Third and Lindsley? Can we hear it for Lightning 100? And last but not least, can we hear from Molly Martin, who opened the show and was fantastic. <laughs> Kerouac died with the TV on in his mother's house in Florida. His liver was yellow, his wallet was broke, he hated hippies. And he loved the Pope. Life is hard. Oh, heck, man, life is hard. It's funny where it stops. It's funny where it starts. The whole thing in the middle. Yeah, it's bound to break your heart. Life is hard. The cops, they found Lenny on the bathroom floor. Guess the court transcripts, they weren't funny no more. Subpoenas, they ain't setups. The stand, it ain't a show. I guess naked on the floor was his last dirty joke. Life is hard. Oh, heck, man, life is hard. It's funny where it stops. It's funny where it starts. The whole thing in the middle. Yeah, it's bound to break your heart. Life is hard well, I guess everyone I know Is full of it and It's the only surefire way To tell if someone's human Life is hard. Just want to say thank you for being here. I had a whole lot of fun. And I have a very discerning ear for fun. And the famous last words, a daffy duck. It's the best trick I know But I can only do it once The pills and the soup They're all ready to go But there ain't nothing you can do When the rabbit steals a show Life is hard Oh heck man, life is hard It's funny where it stops It's funny where it starts The whole thing in the middle Yeah, it's bound to break your heart Life is hard. Have a great night. Keep it going for Darren Bradbury, everybody. All right, time to wrap up another Nashville Sunday night here at 3rd and Lindsay. We'll be back next week. We've got a sold-out show next week with uh, Theo Katzman and Rhett Madison playing. If you can't come and join us, you can always listen live on Lightning 100. Thanks to Sound Royalties, Wicked Weed Brewing Company, and New Amsterdam Vodka. This has been another Nashville Sunday night live at 3rd and Lindsay on Nashville's independent radio, Lightning 100. <laughs> <laughs>